Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. The artist that we're checking out today, we first heard a couple of months ago on the channel singing with Vardruna, and many of you know her as the lilting voice from Frozen 2. This will be Aurora performing a song that she originally wrote at the age of 11. This will be Runaway, and the performance is from the Nobel Peace Prize concert in 2015. I think she was about 19 at this time. So I'm so excited to hear her doing a solo piece. I have yet to hear her doing anything solo. I'm especially excited that this is one of her original pieces. Let's get to it. Listening to the ocean, I saw a face in the sand. But when I picked it up, then it vanished away from my hands. And oh, I had a dream, I was seven, climbing my way in a tree. I saw a piece of heaven waiting in patience for me. She is just so enchanting. Uh, I I am surprised, even though I've heard her a little bit. I'm I'm really surprised that uh, she's so uniquely her own person, and it's her own sound. It doesn't sound like there's any nerves or anything in the way. Um, though you see a lot of extraneous movements, and I I think this is. Her just letting everything that's inside her really come out. I love that. Her voice reminds me a little bit of Joni Mitchell, of the way she plays around with these different phrases. Um, a lot of various ornamentation happening around. And she also does some really fun flipping from her chest voice to her head voice at one point. I love also the, the arrangement. I'm not sure if this is her own arrangement. I would guess that it is if she wrote the song at 11. Um, probably is her own arrangement for more people uh, by the time she's 19. I love hearing it was just voices at the beginning, more voices than hers. Uh, definitely had a male part in there that was going really, really low and a couple other female voices. That might have been supplied also in a backing track. I haven't counted who all is performing in this live performance yet. Uh, but also, I it definitely sounds like it's got an acoustic kind of vibe with, even though you see a drum pad that's being played for the drums, um, they have a very, uh, like a bongo kind of sound, something that doesn't feel tinny. It feels very natural in the materials that make up this particular drum. I want to go back to the beginning because there's a lot that was happening right away. And it just, it's so much to take in. I want to hear it all again. I was listening to the ocean I saw a face in the sand But when I picked it up Then it vanished away from my head Ah, she has a lot of control. I think a lot of people would hear her and think, oh, she's just, you know, really creative and does a lot of improvisation. I think that she's intentional, very intentional about the choices she's making. You hear her breaking lines going up. Uh, sometimes uh, to emphasize a particular musical ornamentation. You also hear her doing very deliberate slides at moments, or she'll just attack a note straight on. There's not anything in between. She's incredibly specific. And at the same time, I love how clear her words are. Just very, very clear, clear as day. You don't even have to think about what they are. You just get them and understand them right away. Very nice. I had a dream I was seven. Climbing my way in a tree I saw a piece of heaven Waiting in patience for me And, oh, 
And I was wrong and far away Would I run off the world someday? Nobody knows, nobody knows I was dancing in the rain I felt in love and I can't complain But no, take me home, take me home where I belong I can't take it anymore I got goosebumps. I I love the moment when everything dropped out. And I think the words were, um, don't take me home. I'm going to go back to it and catch them. I was mostly just really caught up in the sound of uh, everything dropping and then hearing this lovely, just vulnerable, but natural sounding head voice right there. It felt um, so sincere and um, so... Uh, innocent in a in a desire it was just really lovely it sounded almost childlike but at the same time you get this very mature emotion behind it it's very very nice Oof. I feel like I'm falling in love with her just a little bit. She's um, just, it's like so pure and original. Uh, I love the control of the voice. It's so, it's, uh, it sounds so natural, but at the same time is so deliberate, really adoring this in every way. She's obviously using her hands ton and moving around a ton. If, singers are like really belting out big, big, big notes. A lot of times they need to put their feet in the ground and just um, use all kinds of lower support, support even below their diaphragm to help belt a note. But in this case, she's using a much more natural tone. So it's really important for her to just have like a really free sound. Um, and I imagine that moving might help keep her relaxed. At the same time, it's really clear to me that she is going for tons of emotional expression. And we know that when people move their hands more, they are more emotionally expressive in their voice. So little pro tip for you, if you're in a recording booth and you're doing voiceover or just recording a singing, like use your hands. Nobody can see you. Um, just use your hands do whatever you need to, to get that note out um, and pull it from above wherever, wherever you need to um, pull an idea from. Use your hands in recording booths or you can follow her example and use them in a performance. It, it is a little bit distracting to me to watch sometimes, but then I get what she's doing and I'm like, wow, I love the bravery of this choice. I love the originality of it. And I adore that she's doing it to just make the sound of her performance better and just have to be really authentic. Ah, this is really, really, really cool. Thank you everyone for the suggestion. I'm loving it. I show For a 
soft place to fall. <sighs> oh, this is, it's just really beautiful. It's beautiful in like a, the way you think like a, a child wood nymph would be beautiful, right? Uh, she definitely, she reminds me of a child wood nymph. There we go. Um, I love her style choice here. She feels like such a natural person and uh, again, very authentic. And I appreciate this. She's chosen to be barefoot on stage. I like being barefoot on stage as well. There's a, a when you can sort of tap into that energy below the stage, it feels very centering. I definitely, definitely like that. And it's clear that she also, um, with the gold and the, the texture in her outfit, it feels like it's ethereal and magical at the same time, which is perfect. That already describes her. Uh, it's very interesting to also watch her face and how she has like a very natural appearance there. Um, and you never see a whole lot of tension. You see a little bit of concern in the eyebrows. Um, but you can tell that this sound is just natural. It's not put on. It's just her. And it's her um, having learned to control her voice and just bring tons of expression into it. And I kept running for a soft place to fall. And I mm. interested in the way that she'll split up words and to add more sounds. It almost sounds, um, it has a little bit of that primal feeling, but because her voice sits higher overall, it doesn't feel like primal grunty. It feels like, uh, like a pure cry instead. And it's interesting how she divides words up and she'll re-enter them like fall, all, all, all. That was one of the ones I heard. And she'll, um, pop out of words here and sing, oh, oh, oh instead of actually singing the full world, uh, full word. And those are, those aren't moments to communicate uh, a word or a specific idea to us. She's using those to communicate uh, emotions that are beyond words at that point. I find that really fascinating and amazing that she would instinctually already be doing that when she wrote this when she was 11. That's incredibly impressive. The comfort she has on stage at age 19 is even more impressive to me. I'm really blown away by how truly authentic and um, an original uh, this girl is. Let's go back just a little bit. Listen for those moments where she's accenting with like little, it's uh, almost like human sounds of just um, almost like m not not exactly moans, but little moments of just emotional outbursts. Take me home. back a little further. I wanted to get to that false spot and it wasn't there. So let's go back a little further. Let's go back a little bit further here. For a soft place to fall. And I was running for there, that was the spot, one of the spots where I was talking about where she um, reattacks a word in there with just really interesting emotion. This is fascinating. 
She was so in it at the end. It, she almost looked surprised by applause. She it, it took her out of the moment. Even just like, wait a second, there are people here. Uh, I was just expressing every inch of myself, every inch of my being on stage, and she, and you could see her visibly shaken out of that. I uh, I really really adore the different ways she's using her voice. It's so interesting to me to see that. Uh, it doesn't sound like she's really had classical training in here. She sounds, um, the breath support, for example, that's not something she would uh, use as much in a really long phrase. It feels like a very natural and instinctive way of breathing. And it sounds like she's developed a technique for herself that just really works. Really, really, really works. Man, this is fascinating. Not only is she a unique singer with a beautiful and authentic sound, she also is an incredible songwriter. This song is sticky, meaning that long after you finish this video, the melody of that chorus is going to be going through your head. That's really difficult to achieve. Many songwriters aim to have a sticky melody their entire lives, and she did it at age 11. And she is so comfortable on stage. And the overall performance, one of the things that struck me the most was how real she was willing to be on stage. She knows that her message is more important than her nerves, and she is willing to do anything to help that be conveyed. I think she shows so much bravery and so much originality. I really am so impressed by her. Thank you to all of you that made this recommendation. Wow. She's incredible. I'm so glad that we got to listen to a solo song of hers and one of her own writing. So thank you for that. And please keep making recommendations down below in the comment section of this YouTube video. And also come and say hello to me on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays at 8 a.m. Arizona time. We have live premieres. So you can come and join us and chat for that. Or you can find me on Patreon or if you would like to learn more about singing and music in general, check out thecharismaticvoice.com. I hope to see you somewhere else soon. Thank you.